Well, hello, all you gorgeous people. I'm here to show you the Hello Gorgeous top. Welcome to my channel for all you new people. If you are interested in creating your own wardrobe, you have come to the right place. You just need to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any of my latest episodes. Now I upload usually three times a week lately just to keep you all motivated and inspired for sewing. Getting back to the top I was just talking about, the Hello Gorgeous top from Pattern Emporium. My word, I have found one of my favorite tops of all time. I must say that this top is the one of the easiest, most simple and glam tops that you can own in your wardrobe. The sad thing about this Christmas is I know a lot of you guys are in lockdown for Christmas. You won't be able to see your families. Uh, we are very lucky here in Australia to have been through a very tough lockdown and we are able to, well, here, in, especially here in Melbourne, we are able to see our families and celebrate. For you guys that are in lockdown for Christmas, it's pretty miserable and sad to think that you won't be able to connect with your family. I know that one way a lot of people are connecting over Christmas and the new year period is via uh, online and zoom meetings and those kind of virtual uh, parties and things like that so you may not want to go to all the effort to sew a glam outfit or dress uh, but a top can be a great alternative because you could always wear your comfy pj bottoms on the bottom and no one will even know now picture this you're sitting on the uh on your zoom meeting your party online for new year's eve maybe and you've got your nice chandelier earrings and velvet top but no one knows that you've actually got your big fluffy slippers and your sweatpants so like just imagine that you can actually get away with that and you're still kind of glamming up for the evening and you still get to feel a bit special Pattern Emporium, of course, sizes 6 to 24. This pattern is not a new pattern, but it's new for me because I've had it probably for 12 months now and haven't made it up. And I know that you're yeah, just thinking about Christmas and New Year, how a lot of you won't be doing the big full sewing outfit, but you're wanting to do something simple that you can whip up within a couple of hours. So the Hello Gorgeous is a great top for that. You can see I have made three versions in the last 24 hours which I'm pretty amazed with and I've also been shopping as well so that just goes to show that you can do it nice and simple and quick and easy if you've got the fabric there in the stash any kind of knit fabric will work for this top it's also great for all seasons so you know that I've got the one on here with the short puff sleeve there's four different versions of sleeve you can have the short puff above elbow with the cuff you can have the one to the elbow with the cuff then you can have more of a long puff sleeve that's like a three quarter with a cuff as well and the full length sleeve so a really great versatile amount of sleeves you can have there for all seasons as well the necklines i've done the low squared neck on all three of mine because i'm a huge fan of a square neck especially once it's got that sort of scooped outline i think it's very very flattering lovely shape to wear and it always looks glam too. But if you're not wanting anything quite as low as me, you can also go for the higher square neckline. If you don't like square necklines, there are also two uh, rounded necklines. You've got the lower scoop and you've got the higher round neck as well. So fantastic versatile pattern. Don't forget too that on all of Pattern Emporium patterns, you'll see that they mash, what they mash back with. So you may have something like uh, one of their dresses, for example, you can put the dress back with um, the hello gorgeous sleeves so they'll list the patterns that they will coincide with and that way you can really go to town on creating your own special look there and really tailoring it for yourself um, something special that you may want to design there so i'm going to give you a little sneaky peek at the three versions i've made see what you think which one's your favorite i've really gone to town on the fabric of course it's christmas and new year's period we're all wanting to look special Use stretch velvet for these two i've used a bit of lace as well and also a bit of a leopard print floral which is a bit of fun and a little bit of a tropical vibe there for us here in australia too i think leopard print is something that you can really make look classy depending on what you sort of wear it back with 
Things like leopard print, zebra print and snake skin I think are making a huge comeback. Um, I really think you can um, fit that into your wardrobe somewhere if you haven't worn it before. Why not get exciting and a bit more game and yeah, have, have a go at one of these tops. Done a little bit of a uh, tutorial on the stretch velvet, what I've done there. I will just show you a bit of a clip. Just talking about the nap, very important using stretch velvet. The nap is so important. Make sure you're cutting all in the right direction. So take heed of this video. Shinji's trying to sit on my black velvet. Do not. <laughs> now, when you're cutting out your piece, remember you must have your nap all going the same direction. I've already cut out the front piece with that same direction. So this piece you'll see has to be cut on the fold. What we don't want to do is have it going on the fold and the wrong direction, or you'll get two different looking colors of velvet. So what I usually do is just flip it over on the fold. It'll be upside down, but that's fine. And then all your velvet would be the same pile, same direction. With your neck band, you've got to make sure that the, your stretch is running in the right direction. So the width of your stretch has to go with the width of your neck band. So don't do it the other way around because you won't get enough stretch. So even though the velvet pile you've got to take into account, um, with the neck band, you can't really help that because if you're going to go down with a pile, you won't get enough stretch to um yeah to stretch your neck band nice and neatly so that is fine just to do straight across but um yeah don't forget you need that long width of stretch on the fold now you'll notice on the neck band that because it's a rounded square neckline you make you've got to make sure that the uh spacing's done right and it does have a lot of notches so you've got to take notice of where the notches are and make sure that you notch your neckline the same way See the notches on the rounded square neckline have got the same corresponding uh, places to your neck band. So that really gives a nice evenly spaced neck band. So do not miss the notches, they're very important on this top. Another thing to remember is the more stable your knit, the more structured and firm fitting your top will be. This is a cotton spandex interlock fabric from Spotlight. Now it's not overly thick and it's not overly drapey, so I would tend to avoid too much drape, especially in the body if you're wanting a nice structured neckline. Um, with the sleeves, of course, you can go a bit more billowy, a bit more um, drape and stretch in that fabric. Um, if you're mixing fabrics back, that is, it's, uh, it's quite adaptable, so you can do that. But always think about using in the body even something like a ponty would be lovely to wear but remember your stretch in your ponty isn't quite as stretchy as a lot of the other knits so make sure you probably size up a little bit for a ponty or a, a less stretchy knit you can make these on just a normal zigzag or a twin stitch on your normal machine you don't need an overlocker although she has given great instructions for overlocking these tops as always with pattern emporium they're fantastic instructions very visual as well you get uh, photos and pics of every pattern very detailed instructions especially great for beginners as well don't be daunted about doing puff sleeves they are very easy the way the uh, description has shown it just needs a little bit of a gathering stitch at the top of the puff and she actually shows you how to fit that on the flat as well and the, the top will be flat and you fit your puff sleeve and you'll pin it in sections and once it's pinned in the right spots you need to then gather those bits and very important to mark your notches on this uh, pattern especially with the neckline and with the puff sleeve i think you don't want to miss out on those notches so what do you think are you ready to do a glam night in if so this is the perfect top for you you're going to really love it. of course pattern emporium patterns are so popular whenever i do an episode on the pattern emporium patterns you guys seem to really embrace them they are an aussie owned company and they do have some brilliant uh, patterns there in their catalog they do have a couple of woven patterns but predominantly they are a knit pattern um, company and i think that is too because they are so easy and quick to make especially for beginner sewers but this has certainly been the year for all the dramatic sleeves so i think why not take the year out end of the year with another dramatic sleeve make your impact i think your friends and family will really love it and yeah you get to still relax and have your pj bottoms on underneath if you are not in lockdown i think you can really glam this up with any kind of um, pants or clots even a lovely pencil skirt would look great with this pattern as well i think the palazzo pants would be a perfect match as well for this because 
they are a lovely streamlined looking wide pair of pants collot style pair of pants and very comfortable with elastic waist as well i'm going to link all these patterns below so you can go ahead if you're wanting to purchase them i do have an affiliate link there so if you decide to purchase through that it won't cost you any extra but it will help support my channel and that means i can bring you more and more content more often i want to thank all of you who have done that in the past this is so simple and quick and easy it only took me 1.25 meters of a 150 width fabric so you can get it in under under a meter and a half and that is also dependent on your size as well i made it size 16s in these now i know with pattern important patterns i tend to like to go up to a 16 when i have that stretch around the bus i don't want it pulling too much and yeah i think the 16 is the perfect fit for me if you don't already know i do have my measurements listed underneath in the description box um, so if you're wanting to sort of compare your own size to that you can see i usually do make um, 14s to 16s in just about all of my indie patterns so a very very pretty top a very easy make and of course different necklines different sleeves you've got different lengths as well you can do it for winter or for summer and i think it's a beautiful top for really making a special kind of fabric things like lurex and stretch knits would be beautiful in this and you can go for something sparkly and shimmery and even think of things like velvets and yeah lurex i think would be spectacular as well so go ahead and try the pattern you won't be disappointed i'm going to have one more christmasy episode coming out right before christmas so you guys can get one last look at what i've made i think i want to end the year on a really high note bring you guys more and more content to watch because i know you're really enjoying that and for those of you who are in lockdown i think it um hopefully is keeping you company and if you haven't watched my vlogmas episodes you can always go back and watch those as well so thank you for watching, loving your comments and support. Please keep them coming. I love to answer your, all your feedback. I think it really makes everything so worthwhile. And I really appreciate the time and effort you go to to write those beautiful comments. So stay safe, happy sewing and take care. Bye for now.